Hello, and uh, Fast and the Furious Premium from Hot Wheels this is going to be a quick one or so, I hope. So, um, uh, these things get uh, in stock on Amazon, out of stock pretty constantly. This is the uh, first ever um, Premium Fast and Furious set from Hot Wheels. This is the uh, Fast Import, and you can see all import cars, including the Ford. And... Um, mm, I think three of them are really good. Two of them I don't really care about personally. They're still very well made, uh, very good looking, but because of like the deco, I don't really care too much about. And um, I'm just gonna start with uh, the way I usually do it. American cars, European, and Japanese is usually the uh, sequence I go by. And I think it's also, well, no, not really. And uh, obviously Ford in this case, uh, it's still an American company, which is why I call it like American. Obviously, this is a uh, Ford Europe. This is the um, Ford Escort. I looked up some of the images online in order to see like how accurate they are, and obviously, this is a Ford Escort design in the uh, RS. What is it? Sixteen hundred. Yeah, RS sixteen hundred from year nineteen seventy. You can see on the bottom, uh, all die cast metal bottom. Uh, you can see, yeah, it's a um, it's a standard one that Hobos has been doing for a few years, not the older uh, Ford Rally, uh, Escort Rally car, but still pretty cool. In the movie, I think, I haven't seen any of those. I've made that pretty clear plenty of times. I don't think these two like lower lights are present, only the two upper ones, but still overall, it's a good looking car, not accurate, uh, as you would expect with Hot Wheels. The white is pretty good. It's, uh, it's not super thick, but it's good enough that it actually seems more white uh, than light blue, as a lot of these, um, white on um, dark paint painting goes overall pretty nice car um it's not like the most exciting thing you know like even when this whole set is not in stock you can see this escort all the time for like uh five dollars so is like a little cheaper than retail because it's just not the most exciting thing but it's well done it's a cool rally car i dig it you know and it's very um stock deco i like it yeah Next up is the one that I really want uh, more than anything else is a Lamborghini because I do like Lamborghini and their car designs. This is the uh, Huracan, not the Huracan, the, uh, the, 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 the Gallardo, Lamborghini Gallardo. This is uh, Super Leggera, right? Yeah, the uh, LP whatever Super Leggera. It's the high performance version. And this is the uh, second generation. Um, second generation Gallardo. It's a pretty cool car again. Dig it. And size-wise, I'm pretty sure it's uh, fairly close to 164, if not pretty much the exact length of a 164 car. Uh, there is a little bit of a paint uh, blemishes, like really tiny things. It's barely noticeable for the most part. But so as someone who's as anal as myself, it gets a little annoying, but that is pretty much, uh, that's pretty okay as far as how it's quality control is concerned. Uh, next up is another great car. These three are, in my opinion, the best ones for someone who hasn't watched Fast and Furious, don't really care about the franchise. You know, I might end up watching them one day, but this is the uh, Skyline R32 GTR. Uh, great casting, just looks really good from this angle, I think, in particular. it's uh, I think it's, it's either a really, really, really dark gray or it's black. I'm not perfectly sure. It's a light black or something like that as a... Uh, Sterling Archer might say the grill looks just really good from the front. It's a two-door GTR. The back wing is a you know one solid piece, which is a bit of a shame. But again, for as far how, as far as how this is concerned, it's not really a surprise. And I, I do think I'll also get the um, Mini GT R32 with the Nis Nismo livery. I think that looks pretty good as well. But this one looks pretty cool as far as how this is concerned. This one I. Uh, don't really care about the um, Fast and the Furious deco, although it's pretty cool, especially you can see all of the uh, sponsors here, Toyota Tires, K&N, uh, Sparco, and all that. You can see K&N here again, and on the other side, no, this is something else, this is, uh, yeah, no, it's just K&N all over again. Uh, I, I don't really care for this deco, but I, I like, after getting it, I think I like it a lot more than I did, and it's very well done, very heavy. Um, die cast metal wing which is pretty good actually i, I thought i might uh prefer the plastic wing because you know just uh especially since a, a wing is a different color as well it doesn't really matter uh because uh, like for me the biggest problem between like using plastic parts uh ex plastic exterior parts is like color consistency which is 
pretty often not met, but in this case, you know, it's supposed to be a different color anyway. But you know, the, the metal one is pretty good. I think the uh, closest competitor this one would have would be the uh, Dream Tomica one, I think, this one. They're comparable, and I think this one might be better. Um, Proportion-wise, go, and um, uh, just uh, lens highlight details, Tomica would have that advantage, but uh, in that case, the uh, wheels are pretty... Uh, very very basic as far as Tommy is concerned and this one actually has like really nice not accurate wheels but good looking wheels in general and obviously rubber tires and a metal base i think i think this one wins out and although the tomica one has plastic wing and shows the color differentiation really well you know the whole thing is blue instead of just the top and sides being painted the problem with that being apparently like if you take it out of the box there's a good chance it's going to be a bit warped like the uh, Hot Wheels uh, Mazda 787B, which is a bit of a shame. At the end of the day, I still think um, the uh, the Denismo one is better from the uh, Team Transport, uh, but I, I'm definitely uh, warming up to this one, even though yeah, it's uh, from a movie I don't really, I haven't seen and don't care about. Um, I mean, it, it's not like too outlandish anyway, so it's pretty cool, it's pretty cool. Uh, and I am considering getting a RLC one, the purple one. It's not gonna be cheap, but I really like the look of that one as well. So I might end up getting it. I might not. Other than that, the only like uh, premium ones, not counting the RLC or the um, convention pieces are obviously the original blue one, right? Uh, dark blue one that also, um, that's from entertainment, but from the uh, Fast and Furious line. Uh, that one I think might be one of the best looking uh, R34 premiums out of the three. I will probably put that one first, and then the knees will into this, but all three of them look really good. I, I do like the Hot Wheels R34 cast, GTR casting, even though it's pretty, it's not accurate, you know, it's, uh, the proportions are not accurate, uh, they, they, you know, tune it up a little bit to make it look more muscle car-ish, just the uh, visuals, aesthetics go, but I like it, it's pretty cool. Last, and in my opinion, least, is the, uh, Nissan Silvia R30, no, 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 Nissan Silvia S15. It's a pretty cool car, I like the blue, and I think this is from the third movie, uh, Tokyo Drift, is that the third one? I don't know. Um, oh, it's, uh, eh, like the blue is really nice, I don't care for like the red stripes. I think this is in the movie called like, the Mona Lisa, because you know, if you look at a Nissan Silvia, uh, the first thing you will think about is a Leonardo da Vinci's uh, Renaissance masterpiece. I'm not the biggest fan of Renaissance art, by the way, so, I mean, I get why it's, like, historically, and it's important in history and art history. I just think, like, out of all eras, that's the one that has the least styles, the one that gets boring the quickest. Um, I genuinely think, like, medieval art is more interesting than that. It's like, you know, but, but, but still, I mean, you can't really compare a car to Da Vinci anyway. I do like the uh, plastic spoiler here on uh, my Hot Wheels. Again, like color differentiation makes it really easy. Plastic piece. I think I, I, I at the end of the day, I prefer the one from, um, again, from another uh, Fast and Furious set. This is from the Fast Tuners. I showed this before. Really good car, a good looking car, and uh, very, very stock looking gunmetal gray with a black hood. A lot of them just being really glossy means uh, you, you can get dust on them pretty, pretty easily. Yeah, I think this one probably better. And there's also the uh, uh, car culture one with the uh, white. I think this one definitely uh, better. The white one and this one are all more, which is nice to look into this one, which is again, just because like going for movie accuracy and unfortunately the movie style is not something I'm super interested in. Overall, a really good set if you can get it for, um, for um, you know, um, retail on Amazon, which happens every once in a while. It's pretty nice when when you when it happens if you can find it, you know. Um Nismo one and the other Fast and Furious one. If I like for instance this car in and of itself can take easily like more than ten dollars. If you try to buy it individually from like the secondary market, the whole set for like twenty six dollars is I think pretty good deal. Yeah. I, I, like even though it's like I mean I'll probably end up watching Fast and Furious one day and when that when I do like I'll probably appreciate these two a bit more but they're not even from the first movie is it? I think this one is from the second one this one is from Tokyo Drift whatever that one is so I don't know well if I will actually um like 
the first Fast and Furious enough to actually watch the sequels. But we'll see. It's a possibility, right? Uh, they're not bad. Like, they're really well made. I just don't really care about them. But still, pretty, pretty cool. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.